So here's the K1. It's pretty simple. It's got uh well let me show you the back first. On the backhand side, you've got the BNC connector, the on-off switch, your uh, wall warp power supply, serial number, and then you've got your key input. These little screws come off so you can get into the battery pack. On the side, you've got the internal battery on-off switch, so when you're using like a wall ward or a power supply, you just go ahead and turn that off. But I got eight batteries in there right now. You can turn it on. There's a little um, test of all the relays when it turns on. Menu system is pretty easy. So once you learn it, it's real intuitive. It's got a built-in feature where you can set the power to zero, so I can show you the keyer. And the tone and uh, the volume of that are all easily changed. You can also change the word per minute using these buttons over here. It's really easy to use. So that's simple. Uh, let's change the frequency. It shows you the last three digits. You can just hit the band key right here to show you the full digits as it scrolls across. You've got your, uh, your AF gain here. You can do receiver incremental tuning. Here you can also do transceiver incremental tuning if you set that up. I've never really used it. You've got a uh, attenuator over here, 10 decibel. You've got filters. You can set the uh, width of the filters. So the first one's 800, I think this is 600, and that's 300. You can also record messages play by themselves, which is pretty cool. And then the tuning function, I don't have an antenna on there so I'm not going to use it, but you can push these two together and it'll show you the SWR and the power output that it's using to test the SWR. So there's the radio. If you have any more questions, just let me know.